I'm pretty sure most of you already know who Ali Koka is. You've probably seen him a couple of times in your YouTube Shorts page or on your For You page on TikTok or wherever you might have seen a couple of his videos. He's mainly just a guy who records himself talking about a few topics such as like robberies that happen, stupid protesters doing something stupid, how a guy lost like millions and billions of dollars and et cetera, et cetera. Just a bunch of random topics that have happened throughout our history of the world. And sometimes I'll go ahead and watch a video every now and then if his videos do show Show up on my shorts feed i don't always watch his content but sometimes i will watch it if it's if he's talking about a certain subject that i find interesting enough but a few weeks ago this is a pretty dead topic and not a lot of people are really talking about this anymore but it's around mr beast and i'm still waiting for mr beast's response to come out as well as dog pack's third and final video on the entire situation to come out so i thought might as well just go ahead and talk about a situation that kind of involves mr beast but not really just just this entire situation with ali coca specifically where where he made a couple of YouTube shorts revolving around the situation revolving around Mr. Beast specifically. He has another video talking about the Ava Chris Tyson stuff, but this one is specifically about Mr. Beast. If you don't know what's what's been going on with Mr. Beast, there are plenty of videos on the internet right now that currently have already talked about it plenty enough. I even have a couple of videos on my YouTube channel if you want to go check those out. I really appreciate that. But Ali Koka, for whatever reason, he might have gotten suggested from a bunch of his fans to go ahead and talk about that situation. And they pr probably asked him, hey, can you talk about the Dog Pack 404 video? And how he claims that Mr. Beast is a fraud. And so Ali Koka does. And he... For, you know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, he genuinely gives his genuine opinion about the entire situation. The issue is how he went about talking about the situation and how he went about giving his opinions and some of the things that he actually had to say in the video. So he pretty much just spends most of the time just, just insulting Dog Pack for whatever reason for something that just is completely superfluous and just doesn't even need to really be mentioned at all. Our world really does function similarly to a WWE storyline. Most people just want to sit back and be entertained by the unfolding chaos. People are so lazy these days that they don't even want to put in the work to form their own opinions. So when you got this nasally inbred looking little bitch throwing a bunch of unproven allegations- Calls him a cloud chaser says that the information that Dogpack has in his video are unproven, even though he doesn't actually even explain as to why they're unproven claims to begin with. And then Meat rides the fuck out of him and says, oh, well, look at all these good things that Mr. Beast did during his entire time on YouTube. I imagine that most of the people hating on Mr. Beast right now have probably never done any, even the things that he said. He probably not even 1% of the things that Mr. Beast has done before. And it's like, yeah, no shit. Not everybody has the amount of money to be able to spend millions and millions of dollars to buy food and give it away to people, right? No one has... 30 million dollars worth of food to give away. No, nobody has the money to build schools and houses for kids in Africa and people in Africa that need houses. Just There's so many things that regular people just can't do because they don't have the funds to be able to do so. So that sort of feels like a straw man. I, I think I'm using that term properly, but it just feels like such a straw man to pull out of nowhere for literally no reason. Just because Mr. Beast has done good things in the past and in his YouTube career should not exonerate the bad things that he's done and has been revealed in the future. A couple of examples that I'm going to use of that and why we should do, take that logic into, into consideration is YouTube personality Mini Lad. He was a very beloved creator. He was a part of a YouTube group for a very, very long time. And even when he did his own solo content, people still loved his videos and still loved him as a person. But then back in 2020, when a bunch of people started getting outed for doing a lot of really terrible stuff, Mini Lad was one of those creators who was eventually uh, exposed for inappropriately messaging some minors in his dms and it got very sexual and at one point he was even trying to meet up with one of them and since then his entire youtube career has been completely fucking destroyed no one likes him anymore he everyone completely wants him off of the platform and yet he still consistently tries to keep trying to make a return to making youtube videos even though no one likes him besides the few people that just are blindly following him because they just don't want to accept the reality and the truth of the situation. No one likes Miniland anymore, and for good reason. It's because he tried to do very awful, terrible things to, to minors back in 2020 when it was revealed, or when it was revealed to us back in 2020. Another example that I'm going to use of the real world is someone like Bill Cosby. He was a very beloved TV actor and all around the world, people loved him, people praised him, and people admired him for all the happiness and, and laughter and joy that he brought to millions of kids all around the world. Even, not even just kids, just the people in general. And then when it was outed that he had drugged and sexually assaulted a bunch of women no one no one liked him anymore no one could look at him the same way anymore and his entire reputation was thrown completely down the drain because of, it was revealed 
how terrible of a human being they actually was. Even though both of these people have done great things throughout their entire careers uh, of whether or not they were on the internet or they were on TV, it shouldn't completely exonerate the crimes that they have been exposed of committing. And the same thing should apply to Mr. Beast because he's done a multitude of things that need to be talked about. There have been plenty of things that have been exposed about Mr. Beast so far, like the mistreatment of his employees that is literally the whole entire main topic of Dogpack's second video. And then of course the fact that Mr. Beast uh, on his team behind the scenes knowingly hired someone who was on the sex offender registry. So there are plenty of things to criticize Mr. Beast so far with just those two things alone. But in Dogpack's original video, he talks about how there are a bunch of really shady and scummy things going on revolving around the giveaways that he does and the behind the scenes stuff that happens in his videos and so much more and Ali Koka's first video just really comes off as him just deflecting that and he just meat rides the fuck out of him just just for the sake of meat riding him I don't know he's just he's just trying to get that Mr. Beast collab he ends off the, the YouTube short saying like oh uh, YouTube is a better platform with him on it he doesn't say that verbatim but he pretty much says that and then he took a little bit of a break from making videos and then he comes back and then he talks about the situation again and pretty much what he says is damn i'm really good at chess and so actually in my last video i just baited the fuck out of you guys to get you angry enough to want to comment and leave stuff in the comments and like the video and, and talk about it so that way it would boost my video on the algorithm and so i win right even though i look like a fucking moron that doesn't know what he's talking about and just looks like a mr beast meat writer uh actually it was a thousand iq play observation hockey out the fucking ass and i foresaw all these events transpiring i'm like shanks after he one shots a fucking kid when he is about to destroy like half of his fleet and he just goes ahead and just pulls that out of his ass for whatever reason in his next video and it just doesn't really make any sense right if you didn't have any really anything of worth to say about the topic and the situation as a whole you didn't need to talk about it who cares if your friends were asking you to talk about this if you had nothing to add on top of the situation you shouldn't have just talked about it at all because all this really does is it comes off as you trying to defend someone who's committed a lot of fraud a lot of mistreatment with their employees and overall just has done a lot of really shady things behind the scenes that has gone unanswered for and it just gives off a terrible impression for Ali Koka, and I don't understand why he thought that any of this was a good idea to do. So to make the first video, say the things that he says, and then double down on what he says and says, no, actually, you're the idiot. I outplayed you. You're a big fucking dummy, dummy, big brain, stupid fucking idiot boy. Or something, something like that. I don't know what I'm fucking saying anymore. <laughs> just, it was so dumb. I just really wanted to talk about it really quick because it was just so idiotic and it kind of ruins the goodwill and reputation that he had prior in my mind because now I can't take anything that he says anymore because if he's not really willing to do the research on this one specific topic, who's to say that there aren't a whole bunch of other topics that he's made videos on before that have also spread a bunch of misinformation so yeah i can't really trust him with his word anymore he's just i don't know why he wants to die on this hill but this is the hill that he's gonna die on so whatever um at the end of the story though if you're gonna talk about a situation at least be kind of informed about what it is that's being accused of the person that you're talking about because if you don't you just look like an idiot in the long run so yeah that's pretty much it i don't really have much else to say about ali coca because there's not really much else to say. He just made a really idiotic, stupid fucking mistake with making these videos. And he's doubled down on them, especially after not taking them down. So even despite the comments completely fucking destroying him, he doesn't care. And he's going to leave him up because, I don't know, he still benefits from them in the long run. So <sighs> yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.